Hi Daily Dreamers, it's Deezer here. Today is going to be like a update video and I have some very interesting uh, news to share. I am going to explain why I am quitting wearing makeup. So, um, I do love makeup. I love the, um, beauty you can find in makeup but I have decided that uh, I no longer want to wear makeup my fiance finds me attractive as is and he actually prefers me naturally so uh, that is one reason another reason is my skin is getting to where it's so sensitive and temperamental I just don't find it gainful or resourceful just to waste money on makeup that does not work and you can't return it and just that kind of deal so I am just gonna forego makeup altogether I probably wear lipstick maybe from time to time because that's the only area that seems to not mind the makeup <laughs> and um i am looking for a new skin regimen um just because my skin is become so sensitive and temperamental and i do have this redness um on my skin um so Excuse me. Um, and I do have this redness on my skin. I would like to get the redness down, but, and I would like even texture. So, if you know of any products that are really good for even texture or uh, getting rid of redness please leave it down in the comment section below and while we're talking about comment sections if you like my content and would like to be my subscriber I would very much appreciate it um I am just looking to hit the 100 mark as far as views so and subscribers i would love that that would just tickle me pink and make my day so um back to the makeup thing i love makeup but i just don't find it fruitful in my life so as a like more main um mainstream like just simplify my life and it being cost effective and simpler like I am gonna do a skincare regimen when I find some products that actually work but then I'm getting into having to find uh, stuff that does not irritate my skin so, it's a little taxing because I'm kind of trading off, well, I'm not really trading off one for the other because I was doing skincare regimen with my makeup, so it's more or less like going back to half, but I, um, you know, I still am going to have to find a skincare regimen, so I'm hoping that that, uh, comes easier i've looked at another subscribe a uh, youtuber and i forget her name but she has some similar issues and so i thought about trying out her suggestions for what she did for her face and uh, which w consisted of uh one of the products she uses i don't know where she got but and it looked kind of expensive but the cell it's like Cerafil. You can get that at Walmart. You can get the vitamin C at Walmart. And you can get the witch hazel at Walmart. So I am considering getting those products this month. And if I do, I will surely let you know and know how it did. Um, now, on to the updates. 
I am getting married in 28 days and 11 hours and counting. So I am super thrilled about that. I'm thrilled to become a wife and um, be official. Me and my fiance really are... We've been together for three years um, on our wedding day, which is March 20th. And so, we have been through so much together. We have lost uh, four loved ones. Three of them were in eight months. And we have been through some things together already. And it has brought us closer together. He loved me very much. And I cannot ask for a better life partner on this side of heaven um it makes me want to live every day and as a person that struggles with hopelessness not to put a damper on things but as somebody that struggles with hopelessness on a day-to-day -day basis where you feel hopeless you feel like you know you're struggling to want to like be here like you don't want to die but you are struggling to live and be happy and enjoy the moment and the journey of life and um I know my depression and the hopelessness and the bipolar has taken so much out of me and the enjoyment of um just my spark for life and I'm finding that back with my fiance he had just ignited a huge change in me and I am trying to lose weight um that is another update um I am going to go ahead and do it because I did not do weight loss Wednesday uh my fiance is helping me count calories and I have slash my calorie intake um to lose weight until I can get motivated and disciplined to exercise and to um uh, be able to exercise at a more let's say uh what the word a uh, more efficient way of exercising versus not being as efficient because I am uh probably double almost uh, well I'm like double my body weight what I'm supposed to be almost and so that is a huge strain on your body and we were almost not built in a day so you know you can't just lose it overnight you can't just exercise overnight and it be gone and as much as I wish there was something out there that would be a quick fix there's just not a quick fix so I would I have opted to do the fast route which is get motivated get efficient in exercising on a daily basis whether it's walking or doing some stretches I am going to do some stretch band exercises I am going to do some um I have one of those little pedal pusher things that you put your feet in and it's like a bicycle but it's just no handle nothing it's just the bike pedal then you pedal your feet like while you're watching tv i'm gonna do that i also have considered to do uh heavy weights on my hands and my ankles just so as i am moving around i am carrying more weight which that could be a strain on me to do that i ha i'm thinking i'm gonna wait till i lose um you know maybe 75 80 pounds and then when i hit a plateau do it then because then that would make more sense than doing the weight now i have not um talked with my fiance about that but uh so i am 
really trying to get my mind right to lose the weight, to keep it off. Um, to be honest, um, this is something I guess I maybe I've not been as real with myself or others about. So this is a very vulnerable moment for me. But being this overweight is very taxing on me on my body um i am struggling with pre-diabetes thyroid issues um mental health issues uh stomach issues and i do want to live longer um because i actually do have longevity on my one half of my family i do have longevity so there is a chance i could live a really long time if i take care of myself so i would opt for that option but for me to do that i have to be real and say it's really taxing me and this heavy um you know i can tell myself all day long that doesn't bother me that i don't notice it but other people do notice it. They notice, you know, me being breathless and just struggling to breathe at times. Um, also, you know, just simple stuff to me, like going upstairs or keeping up with my fiance or skipping or tying my shoes all of those things putting clothes on can even be taxing for me you know that is very embarrassing to be you know an adult and struggling to you know tie your shoes and you know i've had to get my fiance to tie my shoes in public more than once and it's embarrassing because i know i should be able to do it i know that i should not be at this weight part of it is not my fault um it is the medicine that i've been on since i was 21 for the mental illness but part of it is my fault and i do accept responsibility for that um it's just a matter of not taking it to a negative place taking it to a positive place and saying okay yes this is what we've done in the past and this is what we're going to do now and I think this video is really helping me as much as I hope it helps someone else um, that watches this. You know, you have to be real and accept me and um, be accountable to yourself as well as maybe somebody else for your weight loss or something else in your journey. Your anger or depression or... It could be a number of different things. Whatever it looks like for you, find somebody that will be accountability partner. Your mom, your dad, a brother, a sister, a friend, a spouse, a life partner. Um, and get them to hold you accountable. Accountability does work. And I do know it does work through other avenues of my life. Um, even though a lot of... Um, avenues in my life have been strained lately um due to the negativity of my mind you know like the reality is is i don't have to live like this and um i can make my life better if i choose to and you know what i do want to choose to and i do want to choose to live longer and i do want to choose to make those little life changes along the way so this video has gotten quite long i guess because i've been talking so long-winded but i find it um refreshing i'm very transparent I always have been and so I hope that somebody found this video you know encouraging 
in a positive way and please note i'm not a psychiatrist the things that i say on my channel are my opinion so i would like to say if you are struggling and you do need help please get help through a therapist and um you know get to working on yourself and uh i will talk more later about some other topics that i have come up with but for today that's it so uh don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and leave me a comment in the comment section below i would actually be thrilled to get a comment because as far as i know i've not gotten any comments but um leave me a comment and i would love to respond or chat or whatever the deal may be so drop me a line and have a great day y'all bye